The way we relate to work is changing. As many as 80% of employees now prefer working from home at least two days per week. On top of this, millennials and Gen Z start to shape the workforce with different expectations that set a higher bar for organizations worldwide. Next to job security, they also look for flexibility, inclusivity, and a work-life balance that truly delivers. And with employers competing for top talent, the power balance between employees and employers has shifted. Hi. I'm Annalise and welcome to Learning Bites. In this episode, we'll learn about employee relations, or ER for short. If you're already wondering how to tackle employee relations in the ever-changing world of work, stay tuned. But before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell. Let's get started. Let's start with definitions. What is employee relations and why is it important? Employer relations refer to the relationship between employers and employees. It focuses on individual and collective relationships in the workplace. ER deals with several aspects of the employee-employer relationship, including contractual, practical, physical, and emotional. For example, contractual relations pertain to the agreement between an assembly line worker and the factory about working hours, wages, and job responsibilities. Practical relations involve the day-to-day -day dynamics, like the worker taking rotating breaks so that there's always people on the production line, and hands-on mentoring on how to work better. Physical aspects relate to the safe and healthy working conditions in the factory. Emotional aspects cover the worker's morale, job satisfaction, and connection with the employer and peers. HR's role is vital in maintaining these relationships, which form the foundation of a sound employee-employer relationship and is essential for productivity, retention, and a positive work environment. This way, ER is crucial to overall organizational performance. Let's focus on some key challenges affecting employee relations. These can range from workplace conflict and miscommunication to workplace misconduct, low job satisfaction due to poor working conditions, and unequal opportunities for career advancement, all of which can impact worker satisfaction, safety, and morale. To successfully navigate the complexities of employee relations, you will need a specific set of skills. These include active listening, which allows you to truly understand employees' concerns and respond with empathy. Effective communication, which helps you avoid misunderstanding by sharing information in a clear, accurate, and transparent way. And lastly, negotiation skills. These are crucial for finding solutions that make all parties feel heard, which can be difficult in scenarios like union negotiations. By developing these skills, you create a collaborative, respectful, and conducive work environment for all. No mean feat, but I hope I haven't scared you off just yet. While the job can be challenging at times, ER can also be very rewarding, especially when you have the right tools at your disposal. And speaking of the right tools, let's dive into the five best practices of employer relations. If you're new to HR, a role in ER might not be the best place to start. And here's why. In ER, you will face many difficult challenges, including people who arrive late, fail to follow safety protocol, substance abuse and harassment, and other workplace misconduct. These issues are not easy to solve, but as an ER professional, you'd be expected to address these situations professionally. Doing ER well involves emphasizing and listening to employee issues, mediating the conflict between the worker and supervisor, knowing how to apply company policies in a fair way, respect the right of the workers, and understanding the nuances of labor laws. These skills are generally honed over time in various HR roles. Starting your career with a generalist role will give you a more holistic understanding of HR. This way, you'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of employer relations and make a meaningful, positive impact. Best practice number two, invest in your employees. When discussing employee relations, it's vital to emphasize the importance of investing in your employees. Showing genuine care and recognition for their efforts is crucial. Remember, a well-timed word of praise can greatly improve job satisfaction and productivity. When employees feel that their work is recognized, they are four times more likely to be engaged and 56% less likely to look for another job. Moreover, initiatives such as well-being programs demonstrate your commitment to employees' health and will help to increase employee retention. Promoting continuous training and development opportunities is just as important. 
Not only does this empower your team with new skills and knowledge, but it also signals your belief in their potential and career growth. Check our Learning Byte on the topic to learn more about training and development programs. By investing in these areas, you create an environment of mutual respect and commitment, fostering positive employee relations, driving organizational success. Another key best practice is fostering a positive work culture. A positive work culture can significantly improve the quality of work relationships, both peer-to-peer -peer and between employees and management. In fact, 8 in 10 employees think they can find a new and more empathetic employer. To cultivate this positive culture, you can try several strategies. First, encouraging open communication and active listening to create a space for honest dialogue, promoting understanding and respect. Recognize and reward employee achievements to increase morale and motivation. Prioritize work-life balance and well-being programs to show your commitment to employees' holistic health. And last, promote teamwork and collaboration to further improve interpersonal relationships and shared goals. Research also shows that a positive work culture leads to a better work environment, more effective communication between employees and management, and a higher employee retention rate. This shows that by embracing strategies that foster a positive culture, you can cultivate a work environment where employees can thrive. Usually it's a good sign when you don't need a lawyer, but not when you work in ER. While having a good understanding of local laws and regulations is helpful, we also recommend to have a lawyer on speed dial just in case you have a question or when a unique situation comes up. Relevant laws in the US include the Family and Medical Leave Act, the Americans with Disability Act, and the Fair Labor Standards Act. These laws will impact your work and workplace policies. Consider teaming up with legal experts who can help you navigate the complexities of the law. This way, you can ensure legal compliance, better advocate for employees' rights, and foster a just and inclusive work environment. In short, legal knowledge and cooperation are fundamental to effective and responsible employer relations management. Last but not least, we have effective communication and conflict resolution. Even in the most harmonious work environments, conflicts are inevitable. But how you manage them can significantly impact the overall workplace atmosphere and employee satisfaction. Effective communication helps you understand the underlying issues, foster empathy, explain why certain decisions are made, and de-escalate tensions. Active listening can affirm employees' feelings and perspectives, making them feel heard and valued. When you're resolving conflicts, it's beneficial to have a solution-oriented approach. This means focusing on the problem at hand rather than the individuals involved to encourage constructive feedback and find a resolution that respects everyone's interests. Remember, active conflict resolution not only resolves the immediate issue, but also builds trust, sets precedent for fairness, and ultimately strengthens employee relations. And there you have it. In this episode of Learning Bites, you learned what employer relations is and why it's important. You also learned how to face ER challenges head on through five best practices. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And before you leave, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification button. See you next time. Bye.